My name is Christine Marquette and I'm a registered and licensed dietitian with Marquette Nutrition and Fitness and I'm going to talk to you about diets for reducing high blood pressure. The very most um, popular diet for reducing blood pressure is the DASH diet that actually stands for um, Dietary um, Actions to Stop Hypertension. Now this has actually evolved over the years. The standard DASH diet um, limits your sodium to about 2400 milligrams in a day. The more strict DASH diet that has evolved over the years is limiting your sodium intake to 1500 milligrams per day. The premises be behind both of them is that limiting your sodium and increasing things such as potassium in fruits and vegetables, increasing fiber, decreasing saturated fat, all of those things help with lowering your blood pressure. So in general, with the, with the um, DASH diet, what's generally recommended is a very high intake of fruits and vegetables, usually around a minimum of eight servings of fruits and vegetables in a day. It also recommends whole grain products, usually in the amount of six to eight servings of whole grain products. This would be things like whole wheat bread, bran cereal or wheat cereal, uh, something like a pita that has a lot of fiber to it because it's made with wheat. It also inv involves the intake of beans, nuts, and seeds. Those are all very high fiber items that contain um, protein as well, plant-based protein as well. So it does recommend that you also have beans, nuts, or seeds several times each week. As far as your fat intake, it's highly recommended that you eliminate trans fats and reduce your saturated fat intake. Your total fat intake should be around 30% of your calories, but most of that, about two thirds of that, should come from unsaturated fats. So monounsaturated fats, such as fats in avocados and olives and olive oil are highly promoted, whereas the saturated fats in things like uh, dairy products are discouraged. If you use dairy products, it's encouraged to use low-fat dairy, and it is recommended to have two or three servings of a low-fat dairy product, such as milk or yogurt, on a daily basis. As far as animal protein, if it's coming from meats such as chicken, beef, pork, it's recommended that you limit it to no more than six ounces in a day. And with red meat, it is discouraged from having red meat on a daily basis. Um, it's encouraged to limit it to just a couple of times a week. Primarily use leaner sources of meat such as fish and poultry. So that is the primary diet for lowering high blood pressure.